Hello everyone and welcome back to part number 12 of the Disney Legacy Challenge and we're picking up with Cinderella in her house and Harry is just about to try and potty train one of our toddlers. My goodness guys, four toddlers is stressful <laughs> and what I've tried to do is I played a few days off camera because I really wanted to build up Harry and his logic skill and everything like that because it's getting a bit difficult difficult to get the potion so I managed to use the you know the tablet the chest set the telescope and he's now at level 8 and doing it quite well he has also been promoted to a resident in his job oh Harry Tremaine is in mourning because Lady Tremaine has died oh Lady Tremaine's dead oh that's sad that's really sad. Okay, and um, they're pretty doing okay. Now, I gave Jessica's room a makeover because a lot of you said that, yeah, the room was nice, but it wasn't exactly Tina, Tina, Tina <laughs> um, for a teenager. So I made it over, changed the bed to a younger type bed, gave her a TV, which she got as her birthday present. That's what Harry and Cinderella got her for her birthday. Um, a gaming station, a couple of chairs. You know, just made it really pretty and, and kind of girly and things like that. Changed up the the uh, curtains. Now, I'm just out my bed, guys. So, <laughs> if I'm a little bit spaced out, then that's why. So, I think she's got a really nice room. Uh, and, yeah, I absolutely love it. Now, currently, she's over at the Fairy Godmother's house with... Well, she should be... She should be. She's supposed to be at Gerald's house, but I can't see him. But I can see her doing her homework, so. Oh, there he is there. He just appeared. So who's this here? So this is Rodney. So it looks as if the fairy godmother has had him, but he's ended up staying with his dad. Why can't the fairy godmother move in there? That makes, like, absolutely no sense whatsoever. Really, really strange. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get him to forget his homework, because I would want to go out so for my group because as you can see from here she wants to kiss him for the first time and she wants to attend prom so we're going to get the two to go to prom together right stop talking to his dad come on he's not important let's talk to our mister here come on oh she's super cute who's she latrice godmother duncan how many kids does the fairy godmother have here Right, so we'd love to hang out. So let, let's hang out then. So I think what we'll do is Cinderella loves the water. So we're going to head down to, in fact, let's see what they've got. So let them head to the diner. Let's eat here with group and then after that we'll head down to the beach and light a bonfire and, and set the mood for the first kiss. Because we can't just have the first kiss randomly anywhere, can we? No, we can't. So... What is our family doing while they do that? So it looks like Cinderella's trying to put one of the kids in the washing machine. <laughs> that won't work. Ivy hasn't got long till she ages up. She ages up one day and once she does I'm going to get her to learn the hunter trait because we were really struggling for money. I ended up having to sell the the karaoke machine and also there was a whole bunch of things in my inventory like a chair that sat here a couple of tables I've had to sell things at the house basically so we need to get that kind of sorted and hopefully with her having you know getting her doing hunting and things like that it will help do you know Harry I think I put you in the wrong career you should have really been in something athletic because you really are <laughs> completely obsessed with working out you, but you did have the world renowned surgeon once, so I kind of have to do that, I guess. So I'm just going to let him work out. I think the kids are perfectly fine. Tyler is with Cinderella. What does he actually need? He's fine. How is Tristan? Tristan is fine as well. Harrison is okay. Needs a bit of social. So I'm going to get Cinderella to put. Let's. Where is Harrison actually? He's here. So Cinderella, if you can just put. Tyler in the playpen with him. We'll get his social up. I also want to definitely age up the T-Twins very, very soon because four toddlers is a nightmare. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on Jessica eating her lunch and then we'll head over to see her and her date. What is the problem? Just put them on the other side then. 
Cinderella. Where are you going to go? Are you going to go? Oh, no. Look, put him in this playpen. <clears throat> My voice sounds ridiculous when I first wake up, doesn't it? <laughs> right, okay, come on then, right. Sometimes you need to hold their hand. So let you go over here then. Come over here and play with this mirror. And can you move here? Because this seems to be the problem. On you go. Move. Okay. And stop. And now we have no interactions with it. What on earth is happening? There we go. The interaction is there. Excellent. Don't tell me you can't get past that dog. I mean, it is tiny. Cinderella, come on. Is this going to work this time? No. <laughs> right, okay. I'm just going to leave them to their own devices right now because we have got something else that we have to do. Little Miss Jessica. She's out from there on her date. So where is Rodney? Rodney. No, Gerald. Where did I get Rodney from? It's really bizarre. Oh. He's going to receive flowers from him. How cute. That is so sweet. Come on then, give her flowers. Aww. Moscow. That is so sweet. And they are now on a date. So let's hold hands with them a little bit. Oh, so cute. She wants to have a great date with him. Yeah, so I promise that. I promise that. So cute. Romantic. Let's have an amorous hug. Awesome. And um, what we'll do is we'll get them to head down to the River Junction Beach Park because basically I've never been here. So I really do want to see what it's all about and whatnot. Okay, so let's head down here and have a little look at this place. So we're going to get them to come and light a bonfire, because that would be cute. And who have we got down here? We have got Buck Goldstein Green is enjoying himself at a picnic. And we've got the Weatherstone down here as well. Okay, Cinderella. Let's light this bonfire. Let's let's make it bigger. So let's add some wood to the bonfire. That's the stuff. Add some more wood because we want a big one. That's what she said. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't go. Don't ruin the moment. Well, I suppose we could go on a, a nighttime swim. I don't. Maybe not anything wrong with that. But try and make it a big bonfire, Cinderella. I suppose you could go for a swim with him, but then... Oh, he's actually really cute. Why don't you... Right, let's call him over. Let's romantic and compliment his personality. She wants to go on a date with him. Well, she is on a date with him. See? Where are you going? No! Just went on her first date with Gerald. Are you serious? Oh my goodness, he just totally ditched the date. Sorry, I have to go. I've got work soon. Where do you work at that time of night? You're still at school, so what are you... Oh my goodness, plan ruined. Isn't that always the way? Isn't that always the way? But anyway, she wants to go on a date with him, but she also wants to learn to drive, so yeah. So where are you going to go? Where are you going to do your homework? Why don't you just go home and do your homework? Yeah, that would make sense. And Cinderella is using the all-in-one bathroom. She loves a spa. By the way, guys, she's up here. Oh, I need your opinion, guys. Baby or no baby? Now, she has a wish for a child. Harry doesn't. I don't know if I particularly want another child. But, you know, they have... You know, Cinderella does have the wish. So let me know what you think, whether or not you want another kid. So there's an emergency at the hospital, so Harry has to go and do it. That's the only negative of that career. And she's going to grab a slice of cake. 
And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to fast forward through this evening and then catch up with them where we will age up the tea twins. Okay, guys, I know I said I was going to fast forward, but I just want to show you something really, really quick. Now, when an LP or a save file gets kind of old, you will sometimes get sort of pausing and juttering and things like that. It normally means that something is stuck. Oh, Cinderella, really? Right, call the repair technician. And you get this sort of sticking. Now, this save file is old because this was the Cinderella challenge. You know, it's, it went through a lot of things. So, it is an old save file. So, if you have Master Controller, there is a way that you can hopefully help. Now, it doesn't work every time, but it does work quite a bit. Especially with this save file, I've had to do it quite a bit. So, what you do is you go, you install Master Controller. If you don't know how to install mods, then please check out my video on how to do so. And once you've installed Master Controller, you go to the City Hall and you go to NRAS, Master Controller, and it gives you a whole bunch of options. And then what you want to go to is Town. And then it gives you a whole bunch of options like bury the dead, cleanse the blade, the, the blade, <laughs> cleanse the dead, and all this sort of stuff. But what you want to hit is reset everything. And what that'll do is that'll unstick all the crap that's in the town, all the objects that are in the town, it'll reset it. So you hit yes to this. Now it takes a while to process, so I'm not going to let you sit and look at this, but I'll tell you how long it took when I come back. Okay guys, so that take, that take, oh my goodness, I can't speak. That took about a couple of minutes to do that and as you can see, 15,569 objects have been reset. So that is quite a lot of objects that have been reset and that can really, really help your game. It does mean, however, that they are all standing outside and whatnot, but you know, never mind. That's the key to hopefully now when we press play, we're not going to have any of that sort of juttering or anything like that. Now, then Hanny is supposed to be working right now. Oh, Tay's giving birth, or well, not Tay, but he's the father. So, we're, we're missing a toddler. No, we're not. Okay, Hanny, so I want you to pick up Tyler and put him in the crib. I think the boys, I mean, they are just pretty tired, so... The boys and our little Clara. So like I said guys, I'm just going to skip forward to tomorrow where we will have we will have a party for the tea twins. Poor Rodney and Fairy Godmother can't get a home of their own again. It's such a shame for those guys. Okay guys, so I'll speak to you in a second. And as you can see, it's a lot smoother with no you know, with no freezing. Okay, speak to you in a second. Alrighty guys, so I've picked up in the morning and you may wonder why Cinderella is dressed like this. I don't know, she got up and she put it on so she must be in a, I don't know, kind of shorts and t-shirt type mood. And my goodness, four toddlers is a nightmare, I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> they woke up and they were all screaming their faces off. So I need to feed him on the floor and then come and feed Harrison on the floor. And I know that Cinderella is just absolutely dying to get them aged up. Now, what I want to do as well is Cinderella, I want her to start working on a garden. Oh my goodness, so much crying. Um, I want her to start working on a garden. I hope you can hear me over all that howling. Because, did you not feed him in the floor, Cinderella? I told you to. Feed him in the floor then once that's done. Um, so I want her to work on a garden as well because now she has had her kids. Well, you need to let me know, remember, if you want her to have another child or not or whether I should just cancel that wish out. Let me know. Then she wants to make money somehow, but she needs to kind of be there for the kids. She still wants to be at home, but she still wants to make money. So I've decided to do the gardening thing with her because her skill isn't too bad. I mean, her skill is... Where is she? She's level 5. So, I mean, that's not horrendous. That's a fairly decent gardening skill. So, we're just going to get her to come and do that. Now, let's uh, clean out the bad food down here, Cinderella. Obviously, something's stuck right now. There we go. Um, Clean out the bad food and then I want you just to have a quick breakfast. In fact, just have a quick meal. Quick cereal. Who is crying? Who's crying? Somebody is crying. 
Why are you crying? Have you got a toy or something? Go and play with a toy. And what are you? You're playing with Buzz. <laughs> Buzz is not yours, darling. Buzz is not yours. Right, somebody's howling. Right, stop. Like, seriously, come on. Have you not got anything that you could go and play with? Yes, you have. There we are. There's loads of toys available for you. You can even play with a dog toy if you want. <laughs> Um, we're just going to get Cinderella to grab that and what I would probably like to do as well is get Cinderella to go down to the grocery store and get some seeds and things. Oh no we do, we've got some blueberries. I know I went and did that off camera. I did, I got her some seeds and stuff. See this is when I was organising Harry. Oh, there's one of them, sell that. Yeah, whenever I was kind of organising Harry, I did that with her. What are all these greeting cards? We should really display these. Okay, so she's already got the ingredients, so we just need to plant them now, so that's good. Right, the kid's okay. They seem not too bad. He's potty trained, so he should be able to go to the potty himself. I don't think she is, so that's something that we'll do. I don't think she is, so let's come up here and potty train Clara, actually. Once you've done that, that would be great. She wants to ride a horse bareback. So again, that's something we could do. We could arrange for that. And how's Jessica doing? Did she get her homework finished? Yes, she did. And she is not having fun at all. Now, we really need to get a move on with Gerald to ask him to the prom because we've not done it yet. So we really, really need to do that. Desperately need to do that. And how is our major? How are you, boy? You're doing not too bad. You're like having social with him. That's good. Wants to take a nap. <laughs> okay, where are you? Okay. See, the only thing about this is the maid goes and puts the toys away. But if the maid puts the toys away, then he's got nothing to chew. Therefore, he ends up destroying furniture and stuff. So, go ahead and do that. Right, Cinderella, so I need you to go and once more potty train Clara, unless Clara has peed in her pants, which is a distinct possibility, but we'll see. What's up with you, maid? What's up with you? What's up with you, boo? Okay, so the Harry, is there a way that you can work on research? I don't think so. But his performance is go- oh! Is he do another one soon? Excellent. Excellent. So why don't you talk to friends and hopefully you'll be able to talk to Gerald. I think what we need to do is get her to ask him. We'll invite him to the boys' birthday party tonight and we'll get him to come over and, and do that. Really interested to see how the boys are. I kind of want to age up Clara as well because I'm desperate to see what she's like, so I think she'll be adorable, but I can't do that because that's that's just cheating. <laughs> now, where to plant things? So I was thinking about planting some trees over here because I thought that would be quite nice, but having the majority of our garden kind of over in this area here. Oh, I don't even know. Round about here, sorry. So that it's kind of, you know, it's kind of covered and things like that. A greenhouse would be ideal, but don't really have the money for that yet. Go to work at the high products business building before time runs out. Earn some money and improve school performance. See, I would love to... Right, okay, I'll accept it and I'll see how time goes. I'll see how time goes because time flies in The Sims. Like, you set your timer for 30 minutes and literally it goes so fast. Well, it does for me. I hope it goes fast for you, <laughs> for you guys as well. So how's Harrison? Harrison also is in desperate need of potty training. So let's potty train Harrison as well. What's up with you? You need a... Okay. So what I'm going to do is just quickly buy another potty for those that are potty trained. Potty train the babies. Potty train the babies. Right, okay. So... Um, I know it's not nice having like just potties sitting everywhere, but you know, when you gotta go, you gotta go. So you use that, and you are, what? You are so potty trained, Tristan. Don't tell me Tristan's not potty trained. 
Like, go go here then. Oh, I think Tristan's God. having me on because he's definitely potty trained. Oh, oh, without a doubt. Oh, he's so adorable. Yes, he is. Absolutely adorable. And have you wet your pants? Fabulous. And I was going to potty train you and you've wet your pants. Well done, Harrison. Well done. So we're not going to get her to work for a day yet. Because I really just want her to have a prom date. That's what I would like. That's what I would like. Jessica's fun is awful. We're going to get her to come home then and play on a sports game. Harrison, my love, my sweetheart, you're practically all green. There is absolutely no need. Oh my goodness. And Mr. Tristan has dropped one in his pants now. So <laughs> let's change his dirty diaper, Cinderella. And then you can go and change your own before you actually pee yourself as well, which is not going to be good. Is that repair person came and repaired our dishwasher yet? No. No. There's a surprise. Jessica's class will be taking a field trip to the police department. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely fine. And Harry's doing not bad. So much crying, so much tears, stressful times. <laughs> okay, so you go and pee and then you're going to organise. See, I don't really want a huge party, but at the same time I want Gerald to come over, so it's kind of like hitting two birds with one stone, if that makes sense. And plus, Cinderella likes to, to throw a party. We all know she does. I'm going to get her changed out of that. I want to make her over. Because I'm kind of bored seeing her in the same old, same old outfit. So, we will. We'll get her changed over. Oh my goodness, who is crying now? For the love of all that is kind. <laughs> you are fine. There's no reason for you to cry. Go and play with blocks. My goodness. Are you guys sure you want me to have another child? <laughs> Right, okay, it's going to be a birthday party. I can't believe that Lady Tremaine is dead. Like, I can't believe she's dead. Okay, so let's invite... I guess we have to invite the parents, even though he's as creepy as anything. Fairy Godmother. And, of course, Gerald. Um, Anastasia and Drizella. No. I think we'll leave them out. I, don't, I would love them to be... They're not in the family tree anymore, which would have been nice. But they are not. So we're just going to invite them over because, let's face it, they're our closest friends at the end of the day. And we'll get her to go and get her fun up. And hopefully she'll be able to get her fun up enough in an hour. Okay, Cinderella, and we're going to go and we're going to head over here. This is the kind of birthday area. And I'm going to quickly buy. I'm sorry about all these birthday guys, but, you know, when it's a big family, you don't really have an option but to have birthday parties. But I know once you've seen a birthday party, you've kind of seen them all, so, yeah. I'm sorry, guys, but it has to be done. Right. Okay. So let's get this, let's get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. And she is reading, oh no, she's not reading anything. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward to when the party starts. All right, guys, so the party has started and Gerald, oh my goodness, Quentin, I swear to God, you're trying to give her flowers. You are an absolute pervert. Quentin, you actually deserve a slap. She really doesn't like you at all. And I know it's her father-in-law, but I mean, for the love of goodness, it's ridiculous. She tries to come out there all the freaking time. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, and also in other news, uh, Gerald has a part-time stupid job, so he literally came for about five seconds and left again. So it's an absolute fail of an episode when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to him. We'll phone him later on and hopefully, you know, who is this? Oh, it's not so long time no see, my chap. 
Let's see how you turned out, actually, since you were a option for Cinderella. Okay, you, you turned out kind of creepy. Not even going to lie. Those, those eyes are scary, so good choice, Cinderella. Good choice. And what is he doing now? Seriously, I'm going to slap you in the face. Right, Cinderella, let's get this party. Let's walk away from Perverto. And let's... What are you doing? Who are you? It's amazing the people that you don't invite to things that do end up coming to things. It's very, very strange. Okay, so let us age up. Tristan. Tristan Tremaine is having a party. Yes, he is. Right, well, why don't you... Oh my goodness, go away from him. Okay, friendly introduction. I don't even know who this dude is. He looks like a teen. I think he does look like a teen. Jeffrey Catton. Oh no, he's not. He's just a very, very young looking adult. Friendly ask about career. Hmm, interesting. Okay, do we have him yet? Come on, Cinderella. Talk about sculpting. You're a stalker. I swear to God, Harry is going to fall out of his dad <laughs> over this because it's ridiculous. Right, stop playing with the blocks, please, and come and have your birthday. Thank you. And Harry is not even home yet, but that's okay. Okay, Jeffrey thinks Jessica is boring. Well, do you know what? You're freaking boring. Idiot. Let's accuse him of being a diva. He comes into our house. Oh, here's Buzz coming. Buzz, get him. <laughs> comes into our house and treats us like crap. Yeah, you, you're, a, you're an absolute dober. So get out of my house. My brother's birthday and you come in here looking like that. Alrighty. So it's one of the T twins. It would be nice if Harry had been here, but, you know, he's seen a lot of birthdays, let's face it. Ivy's going to probably have her birthday too. Okay, whenever you're ready. We should really take a picture, shouldn't we? We should. I feel quite sad that no one actually cares enough <laughs> to come here, apart from Jessica, obviously. Let's take a little picture. Because that is actually very cute. <laughs> that was a good pause. Okay, Jessica looks demented there. Oh, that's a weird pose, Cinderella, but that's quite cute too. Okay. I want to try and take more pictures, guys, just so that, you know, when this is all over, we can look back and, and feel all nostalgic and, and stuff like that. And not so is coming to see it. He's like that. He could have been my son. He could have been my son. Alright, so you going to age up? Yeah, maybe? Cinderella's like that. Okay, I've done my bit. Go go in here, Cinderella. Seriously. Here he is. What's he going to look like? Due to his modest early development, he will not be allowed to choose a trait. He's a dear devil. Okay. Okay, could be worse traits. Could be worse traits. And let's go and blow out candles for... Tyler now. And let's see what we have here. We have the fairy godmother's boobs. <laughs> let's see. Do you look demented or... No, you're cute. You look like Jessica. Like, so like Jessica. Oh, look at those piercing baby blues. Yeah, you're cute. Nice wee new hairstyle. You know, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, we're good to go. Good to go. And Jessica's letting Major out and talking to Buzz, but what I would like her to do is come in here and do a friendly introduction. Does she not even know the fairy godmother? Hmm, interesting. Like, she's absolutely no relationship with her grandmother or whatsoever and doesn't particularly like her grandfather. <laughs> no wonder, because he's a total creep. He's an absolute creep. Why don't we actually chat? Let's not do that actually. Let's chat with Rodney. Oh my goodness, it's not Rodney. Oh, I'm getting so annoyed. Gerald. How are you getting on, Cinderella? Getting him. And here he comes. Excellent. 
Okay, so she's having a little chat with him, so that seems to be working out fine. Oh, and it's Ivy's birthday! Okay, so many birthdays, so many birthdays. Can the computer cope with it two at the one time? Hopefully. If I'm shouting, it's just because I can't hear myself think, guys. Oh, look at Ivy! Ivy's cute. Oh, we didn't get a picture! Oh no, oh no. I didn't get a picture. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if I want that picture. That looks freaky. Oh my goodness. No. Okay, pause that. Right. Quickly, Laura. Quickly. Come on. We've got, we're on a time limit here. Okay. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Right, come on. Let's age up, little man. Come on. Let's age up my little friend. So cute. I still don't know which one's which. <laughs> Going to be completely honest with you, I still couldn't tell you which was which. Ah, ex excellent parenting skills with him. There you go. So we're just going to randomise him. And he's a daredevil as well, okay. Well that makes sense since his brother's a daredevil too, so that makes complete and utter sense. Excellent. So we now have two boys as proud that Tyler Schmain just became a child. Watching his pride and joy makes him very, very happy. So <clears throat> is there any way to ask him to go to prom just over the phone? Or Let's see if he'll come over. Like, stop eating cake and let's see if we can get him to come over really quickly. I doubt it. I doubt it very much. But we'll try. We'll try. We'll see what happens. We'll ask him to come over once and see if he does. No. Okay. That's because I think he's either working or or whatever but that's fine that's fine so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave it here what i'm going to do is do some makeovers and i will put like a speed makeover at you know probably now actually because that's my timer and the duck the duck is saying shut up now laura <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this part i know that it was a bit of a fail with jessica but we will absolutely absolutely be going to prom with Gerald we just need <laughs> we just need time with him before he goes to work so yeah so I'll talk to you in the next part guys which I'm about to record right now bye guys <laughs>